I'm going to show you how to add a contour cut line to an image to make it a sticker in Silhouette Studio. And I have the business edition. That way I can do anything that the software allows. There's no restrictions that I have access to all the features, um, which includes bringing in SVGs. Um, I brought this pack in. Um, it came with a font. It's just the extras, like when you download a font and then there's another folder that says bonus or extras. I, I brought that in here. And it's, I believe it was an EPS. It's it's vector. So a vector is like a line drawing, and which is actually also a cut file. Um, so I'm going to use this um, little vintage motorcycle as an example. So I'm going to um, select it, and then I'm going to copy it up here and bring it into this new um, page and paste it. So the reason I'm using this as an example because if you see, usually there's the page set up. Um, I have this scaled to what I want it to be, uh, three inches wide. Um, but when you go to do your, con your cut line, your contour, um, you use an offset. So it's this little star with this line around it and then I want to do an outside offset I hit it now you see how thick that red line is normally it's not that thick so what you do is you go to the line and you can see it's set at one and you're wondering why because normally it's at zero and when it's at zero it's just this faint little line it'll still cut um, you know it doesn't really matter for the cut line how thick it is but some you just wonder why sometimes it's thick and sometimes it's not it's because that's it mimics the line that um, the image is set to so I click on the motorcycle and I go to the line and you can see that it's set at one so if I turn the line color it's set at white if I turn it to black you see how thick the line is um, but you can turn the fill off and you see how you really see how thick the line is so if you go back to the line and you go to change it to zero it turns into that faint uh, line so when you change this this changes so why don't I bring it in again I'll delete all this I know this may sound confusing, but it's it's bothered me, and I wondered why, and I, I investigated and figured this out. So I'll copy and paste it into here. I will turn this to zero. You can't even tell because of the fill, um, but the line is set to zero. And then I will do my offset. Wait, I have to select it first, sorry. <laughs> Uh, then you see how faint the line is. So that's something you can play around with. Um, it doesn't change the, the image at all, and it doesn't change the way it cuts at all. Okay, so now you see it has all these inside bits. I don't want all that cut. So and I just want the outer line cut. And if you're cutting it in Studio, you can go to Send, and you see how all the inside pieces are getting ready to cut. I don't have my page set up properly, so that's why like half of this won't cut, but um, this is just for to see the lines. What you can do, well, you can't do it here, because you can select no cut, but it will no cut. Oh, actually, it no cut the contour. So, oh yeah, it's already, it's already separated. So what you want to do is you want to select the outer line and select cut, but then if you select the inner lines and select no cut, Okay, so it won't cut the pieces connected to the image, but it's still, th these are all connected to the contour. This is what I did when I did the offset. So what to get rid of those, you have to select it, which is the red, they're all connected, um, and then you release the compound path. Now if one day maybe you want to cut those, you can keep them and select select just those but I reverse do it so they're everything selected I hit shift and click on the outside line so it actually deselects it and it leaves all these selected and then I just hit group object group 
or you can just hit this one. But um, they are grouped together. Um, so if for some reason, maybe not this one, because you wouldn't want really to cut these out. But if it's a different, a different image, and you want to do it later, and you don't want to delete them, and you never have them again, uh, in order to save them, you can just leave them like that. Go to send. Since they're selected, you hit no cut. And then now you see the red line is just the outside. But if you don't want them, you can just delete them. You, I don't know if you can delete them from here. I don't think you can. So you select them and delete them. And then you go to send. And then you just have the outer. So that will be the shape of your sticker. And then make sure it's uncut. And then um, you hit send. And it will cut it. Or if you're exporting this out of Silhouette Studio, um, saving it to your hard drive, and then importing it into another program uh, for like a, a wide format cutter, you would just save it as, I save it as a PDF. Save as, and I, you know, vintage motorbike. And then I save it as a PDF. And then I will put it on a, I, I, sa I save it to this website. I have a I, iCloud storage. It's a device that's hooked up to my wireless router. And then um, I go downstairs to my shop. I have another computer and I just open the website from there and pull it out and then I can send it to my printer. Um, so if you, if you want to need it for something else, you save it as a PDF. So, um, and then, and then you have to, well, you have to do stuff with it in Illustrator first. Um, let's see, I'll show you how to do that. How did I save it? Did I not save it? I thought I saved it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, well, that's another story. So, that's how you play around with the cut line and uh, releasing the compound path and, um, and changing the line. So hopefully you learned something and if you have any questions you can message me down below or um, send me an email, tanya at myvinylcut.com. Um, thanks for listening and have a great day. Well, I don't even know how to turn this off, let's see. Oh, that's up here.